Greetings everybody, oh, Kanye Games Online, welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion last time. We took down Bogmire, very sloppily at that. And in this episode, you might notice my coins, I have a few more coins. That's because I used my vacuum on this just before starting this recording and it yielded a few coins. It didn't before, yeah, this game's weird like that. But anyways, in this episode, we're gonna head on into Area 3. Here we go. Use our club key so we can join the club. Uh, let's head on through and welcome to Area 3. First off, here we are in the courtyard. What do you do? These ceiling surprises. Want to get rid of any of these that you see, that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna do, is get rid of any ceiling surprises we see. We see. Also, you guys, go away. There anything here? There's money. I like money, so... I get the plot in my book. Oh, give me money. Alright, do we have to check up all these ghosts as well? Yes. Oh, and we have some more plants, so we can wire them. Get a gold bar. If I can suck it up. What's in here? Some more money. We're just finding money left and right. Give me that. All right. And that coin's gonna get the shaft. Ooh, emerald. Give me that. And in here. Do we have anything? Nope, there's nothing. Alright. And don't worry, we'll see we'll see what else is in this room once we get all the ghosts, which then we have we have not yet. Alright, well I'll hit right here. Check it from this side, because otherwise, yeah, you're gonna get hit in the face. So, something terrible is in that well! Well we'll have to go check that in a bit. Because right now, I am hunting ghosts. Nobody's gonna stop Luigi and his ghost hunting. Ceiling surprise! Aye! Hey! Jerk! Excuse you. Suck you up. Alright. Now it's... Flashlight! You work for me. Apparently not. Because I want to get this ceiling surprise out of here. Uh, and now it's not going to appear, is it? Oh, there we go. Gotcha! Thank God. After getting rid of all the ghosts, we have a treasure chest here, which contains more money! And we don't have to worry about ghosts coming through this place anymore. So, I'll have to check this. And we have Mario's letter. I wonder what it says. Well, we'll have to find out later. So Toad said there was something terrible down this well. Can't be that terrible, right? Let's head on down and see. Welcome to the bottom of the well. Yay, we're going back to Ocarina of Time. Since we have found where Mario is hiding, we're not really where he's hiding, or where he's being uh, held captive. And now that we know where he is, we gotta figure out how we're gonna get there, because it looks like here's where we are. So it seems like we gotta get to that room somehow. We're not gonna hang there for a while, needless to say. Alright, what do you have to say now, Toad? Now we've seen what's down the well. Hello, Toad. You saw him, didn't you? How could I do that to Mario? I saw him like that, I completely lost it and ran through the mansion looking for a hiding place. Not while I was running through, I did happen to notice that Mario left some of those things lying around the place. A hat, a glove, a shoe, a letter, and 
a star. I saw five items all together. I'd go collect them for you. If I could remember where they were, yeah, I probably should pick some up. Leave it to me. What? Well, really? You'll find all Mario's items for me? Yep, Skippy Yahoo! Oh, thank you so much, Luigi! My toad voices are getting worse and worse. Wow. <laughs> uh, anyways, now that key that we just got goes to here. Here we have the rec room. And if you check here, there's a speedy spirit. So, be quick about it. And just like that, we got another Ribby. So we have here yet another boss ghost and another optional one at that. So, see there's... Oh, well, there's some more money. All money's good money. So here we have, as I said, an optional ghost. We have Biff Atlas. He... Whoops. Yeah, don't hit yourself with a punching bag. I hear it's not a good idea. What you gotta do is you gotta hit him with punching bags. You gotta hit him three times, then you're gonna be able to actually hit him. Or, like, suck him up. Uh, oh my god, really? Okay, there we go. We land another hit. But Biff Atlas, if you're trying to go get the gold rank, he's actually fairly challenging. Alright, he's down. And now it's trying to suck him up. I'm probably not gonna get him in one second, though. Because he is, yeah, see, he's pretty difficult. Alright. But fortunately now, we just gotta hit him once with punching bags. And now we can continue our sucking of him up. That sounds very weird, and I like it. Come on! Got him! Alright. That was actually going pretty good. Hi, had that be my first run, I might have been able to get the gold ring. But hey, silver still isn't that bad. And like I said, it's an optional ghost, so, open this, you get a lot of money again. Once again, you get a silver diamond. So, now we have all of that, we actually have an optional key we can get. Now, if you look at our map, we will notice that right near us there is a locked door right there. And if you're going through this game, you might not actually get that key. So what you have to do... Gotta do this. And that's the key. So if you needed the shortcut to head on back to where area two is from area three, it's there for you. Alright, now to find the boo. We have Beauregard. And he's got a hundred HP. Now the boos are starting to have a lot more HP. And where is that? It's not that bad because now we can just do this. Because he just went to Melody's room by the looks of it. Mario. Conservatory. Hmm. Yep, there he is. Get over here. Don't want trouble. Alright, that's another boo down. We got 16 of them. And now we've done that. It is time to head on up to the, fl the third floor. Hurt. I took a lot of damage when I was playing Biff Atlas, I could use that. Sorry, just checking stuff, hoping to get some more money. As you know, money is nice. I like money. Money, money, money. Now I'm up to the second floor, where Area 3 is. And in here... Uh, Great, it's doing this again. I guess we gotta wait for a bit. Welcome to the tea room. Oop, golden mouse. That golden mouse has a 20% chance of spawning, and at least this one I got on the first try. And it drops a ruby. Speaking of mice, we look over here. This room has two golden mice, so make sure to be careful of that. And uh, there we go, another ruby. We got seven of them now. Oh, we got ghosts again. Alright, whoop. Yeah, that's a mechanic that we haven't actually seen yet. So, 
I'll, it's easier to see if it, if it, well, there's light. Don't know why I have so much trouble saying that, but we'll be seeing that in a bit so I can further show what exactly that was. For now, we got, oh, come on. And my impressions aren't getting better, are they? Let's get ready to boss, because they're going to give me some problems. Alright. Suck you up. Now, if you look over here, this is what I stepped on. This thing makes it so you're going to go onto the ceiling. And then there's another one here, and that's how you get on top of the table. And here we have the final elemental metal. The ace element metal. Hey now, Luigi, what have you found there? Let me see it. Wah, it's an ice element metal. Now you can use the ice element. Ice elemental ghosts are found only in chilly places. You'll probably find them in refrigerators and cold areas like that. My research shows that they come out of hiding when you approach. You use the L button to, ex to expel the ice element to vacuum one of these ghosts up. You press the L button all the way and you can shoot out a frigid lump of ice. Yes, sir, you. When water gets cold, it freezes, right? Ice can be very effective against water. You could use it on water ghosts, for example. A hot bath would get cold pretty quick if you ice it down. Yep, that's a very convenient item you found there, Luigi. Alright, so now we have the ability to use the ice element. Oh, oh. Oh, Mr. Boot Jangle, that wasn't mean to find you. It was mean to get some ice element. But hey, we're bringing. Friggin' cloth! Hate that cloth. So friggin' much. Where it go? It's okay. The room it just went to is unlocked anyways. You'll notice that a lot of places here are unlocked. Your main goal for Area 3 is to get the remainder of Mario's dropped items. That is your main goal. Once you get those, Area 3 is just about done. We got some new territory, so we better get to exploring. And poison mushroom, really? No, I don't want to eat the mushroom. I want to see if there's anything here. Now there's a heart. Alright. Nope. These ghosts are really starting to aggravate me. Another poison mushroom really oh yeah, these guys don't suck them up. They're gonna try to explode on you and all that stuff. And that ghost not escaped to here. Where did it escape to then? Now I'm really confused. Whatever. I'll find out later. Worst case scenario, if you reset the game... Uh, no, I don't want to read that. Worst case scenario, if you reset the game, the booze will go back to their original spots if you... if there's any you didn't catch. So, it's not a big deal. I might just reset and get that one really quick. But if we look around here, there's a speedy spirit. So, grab you. And... Yeah. Got a lot more gold. A lot more stuff in general. And anyway, here we have another boss ghost. We have Nana. What you gotta do? Take yarn. You got to hit her with an yarn. Come on. Hit her again. And one more. Now we gotta suck her up. Hope for the best, because there is stuff around here. Oh, there's a lot of money I wanna get, but I'm gonna be busy sucking her up. Well, I guess I can get that money now. Alright. Oop. I didn't want that to happen. Okay, we're up here. Suck you up. Get refused. I can move on and do more stuff. Get out of here. Alright. Now that little rage fest is over. Let's see what there is to find here. More pearls. Oh, there we go. We have... Oh, there he is. Limbooger. Where do you think you're going? Get back over here. Let's get the key first. Where does this go? This takes us... There. Which is back in area one. We're gonna be going there later. Hmm? For now, 
I want this guy dead. Or dead again. Come on. Alright, you know what? Let's also clear out this room really quick. We have another boss ghost. We have Miss Petunia. Now, there's a hint in Nana's room, which is that book I didn't read. You gotta use your ice elements on her, and now we can suck her up. Yeah, basically it says, like, oh, you fuck. Nana plays a joke on Miss Petunia, and that's how she did. That's what I get for not showing that, apparently. Yeah, this is starting to be the point where I can't get any, uh, any boss ghost, any gold rings, essentially. Alright, our boss goes down. Nice. And we have yet another key. And this key is gonna take us... over there. Back into a room in Area 2. So, needless to say, we're gonna have a lot of backtracking to do. Where'd that boo go? Um. Oh, oh, oh. I need water element. I need water element. Give me water element. Thank you. Now, I can get rid of you. Get out of here. I don't want to deal with you. And more money. But yeah, this room is basically optional. Alright. What have we cleared out? We cleared out the majority of this place. So, what I'm going to go do. Because apparently I had two boos get away from me. Unless did one or one of them now in here? Um, who on you? I guess one of them did get away in here. Yep, he jangled. All right, that's one of them gone. Oh, I guess the other one went back in here. Uh, and Iga was basically just saying, hey, you can water plants. Mario. I guess this is where the other ghost got went, because I was going to say, Mario. I'll just reset to wherever the ghosts are, the remaining booze are located, but I guess they all escaped here. Gross, whoa, Greece, you, you little scumbag. There we go. Alright, not bad at all. 18 booze, we are caught back up on booze, so, I think what we're going to do, because we have two options as to what we can do, we have one place we can go to in Area 1, and we've got another place we can go to in Area 2, now we have the keys to both of those. We also have a room that has not yet been explored yet. So, we got some options, but one thing I'm going to do before anything else, because I know I'm going to forget if I don't do this, is screw you. When walking through these halls, if you're lucky, let's see if I'm unlucky, I'm not lucky. Oh, no, I don't want that. I... Yeah, that's what happens when you stack up blind. Hey! I just want to see if there's anything in this pot. There wasn't even anything. Alright. So, in that case... Whoa, go bar! Alright. What? What is down here anyways? Ah, uh, something we can't do yet. Actually, yeah, I know what room that is, and we're not going to do that. We're not going to be able to get into that room for a while. So, I don't want to show what's in that room yet till we actually head there properly. So, I'm going to do a bit of cutting. I'll be right back. There you go, Golden Mouse, right there, and it drops the sapphire as well. So, with all that done, we made a lot of progress. We, considering at the start of this episode, we started Area 3, and look at this. Made base pretty much all of that progress. And we got a lot of gems from that as well. And we got the ice element. So, with all that done... I think next time on Luigi's Mansion, we're going to explore both Area 1 and Area 2. That's not Area 2. Area 2. To see what we can find. Now we have two more areas we can go to. And we're going to see what else there is in Area 3. And believe it or not, next episode, we might actually be getting near the end of Area 3. 
Yeah. I'm not sure if you remember, but this game is short. This game is very short. See you guys then. Screw you. I forgot. Check that. You get a ruby. Now, I'll see you guys next time.